Hi dolls, Tisha Monique here, and I wanted to share with you guys today my vanity. Now I know that it's been a while since we have filmed and talked about vanities and organization and that sort of thing, but I wanted to share with you guys my vanity uh, today because I've just wanted to get into it and show you how it's looking currently and to give you some organizational tips on hot ways that you can declutter your makeup and ways to keep your vanity looking really nice, really neat, and really glam every time that you're sitting down to use it. So today that is what we're gonna work through is I'm gonna show you guys how my vanity currently is looking, which was a hot mess and it needed to be cleaned out and how I got it to looking like it looks now as you guys can see it. So if you sure to give it a big thumbs up, be sure to stay subscribed by hitting that notification bell. That way when I do upload, which I'm gonna be working to upload a lot more frequently for you guys, so bear with me. And uh, that way you'll be sure to be plugged in and stay tuned for this decluttering video. <laughs> I want you guys to see the overall appearance of the vanity and as you can see it looks a lot better than it did before I went ahead and I set up my mirror here as you guys can see and I have just two lights one on each side and if you guys saw my previous vanity video where I showed you how I set up my double vanity you'll see that this area is smaller but it's just as functional and so I just have two sets of lights and they are these are the IKEA lights I will link the video where I took you guys through my whole it you guys I think that it's really really glam it's very modern it's very chic and I love it I really love it I've got my big glam mirror here I've got my lighting for when I put my makeup on and then I have my simple human mirror here which I use and I have to have and it's really really pretty and there you go for that really pretty faux roses here that I've had for years. And then I wanted to just keep the vanity on top, very sleek, very minimal. So what I wanna do before, whereas I used to just have all my makeup out, my brushes out on display, on my vanity. Um, what I've been doing now is just, I like it to be really clean and neat because it is in a different part of the house. It's actually in my bedroom now. So I didn't want a lot of makeup and stuff here. I just wanted it to be like its own little area. So I'm gonna back out or pan out so you guys can see how it looks here. And I've just got this uh, stool and it's got a little fur throw over it. Down here, you can see my Mac. Um, my Mac bag that I keep all of my empties in and I have a video on that that I share with you dolls how you can back to Mac which is still a thing if you have any Mac empties save them and you can get your lippies from Mac that way but um overall this is the look of my vanity area okay and that mirror is ginormous and I love it here it's just really really pretty so I put all my brushes here and what I was trying to do was just to be discreet. So I have all of my brushes behind this Prada sign that I printed out and put in this silver frame and I've had it forever. It used to be in my beauty or glam room and I have all my brushes back here and I just wanted to keep that kind of discreet. Like I know they're there. You can kind of see them in the mirror, but um, yeah, they're back there. And then uh, back here, I have some more brushes, which is what I kind of use every day to get ready. And these are my pretty girls brushes. And I just have them in this holder. And I've just been kind of keeping them back here out of pocket. I also have some crystals back here that you know are good vibes, good energy, some rose quartz, citrine, pyrite, and some fire quartz sitting on type of a selenite stick. And yeah, so those are kind of out of the way, but it's like all of my goodies are there. I know that they're there, but they're just a really discreet back so now, there. dolls, on to the inside of my vanity. And once you go in, all of my makeup is here. I do have some that I don't wear as much on a daily basis that I put up in my closet in the acrylic storage case. But for the most part, this is what we are working with, you guys. This is it. This is an overview of my makeup drawer now and as you can see it is a huge improvement what a difference a little cleaning can do i tell you what i love it and it's very very functional that's one thing that i, I really love about it is that these are all the products that i reach for on a daily basis so it's not like i have to dig and dig 
for my products. This thing is at arm's length, which I love. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I went about setting up my drawer. And I am really, really loving it. So just starting here, these are all the things that make me happy. Like having these things here when I open my drawer up, it's just like magic when I pull it open. And just starting on this side, I feel like it's way more functional than it was before. And it just makes more sense in terms of what I reach for and what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I do have this little MAC uh, lip palette that I am getting into using a lot more and i want to use more because i've had it a while and i want to use this a lot more and it has russian red in there it's got ruby woo it's got a lot of really great colors that i already love lady danger ruby woo russian red okay mac red and then dare you and this one of course is from mac but i put that here because just face up it looks really really good and i like the fact that it's here is handy and if I wanted some lip, I can grab this, take it with me even. Um, it carries really well and it's got a lot of great colors that I actually would wear all of these. So this is a really handy palette. Underneath there, I have one of these acrylic organizers, you guys, and I put all of my lip glazed um, by LA Colors, or I'm sorry, LA Girls. And then I've got some Melted Too Faced and a lot of lip products, my MAC, lip glosses, lip glasses that I don't really wear that much. But as you can see, if I wanted to just grab this and pick a color, I could pull this whole tray out and set it up here or whatever and just get to all the products that way. You know, but for now I have this Morphe. This is my absolute favorite Morphe palette at the moment. And it is just such a pretty palette. I'm obsessed with it. I use it on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Let me open this up for you guys. And it looks like this. And it's so compact. The mirror is big. It's gorgeous. And it's such a great travel palette that if you wanted to get ready on the go or if you were going out of town or traveling or on a trip, you can get this palette and take it with you or any of their small um, palettes like this. And this one um, has the, um, let me see nine shadows and i really love these colors you guys i cut a crease with this one really well i like these two blues i haven't really gotten into them yet but these are all great lid colors as you can see i have been using them and i think the palettes were only like 11 bucks or so but this one is the um let's see if it's got a name the n the 9s the so chill palette and i love this palette i reach for it every day that brown was also good to contour with so that's this first area. This next area here is all of my MAC lippies, which I really love the collection. I love a MAC lippie. And like I told you gals, if you go ahead and back to MAC, every time that you do, you can um, change out your old empties for, I believe it's like six empties. Don't quote me, I've forgotten since now, but I wanna say it was six empties and you get a free lipstick. So that's a great way to build up your collection. But I have all of mine here in this tray. So if I need a MAC lippy, I can pull this out and go in and I can pick a color. Now, as you can see, all of that brown or makeup fallout and stuff didn't come off. But these are clean. They're sanitized. And um, it looks a lot better than it did. And this was just the perfect spot for these to slide right in here. And I've got two little bullets here. Um, what colors are these? I'm sure that they're Russian red and probably a ruby woo, but these are both two Russian reds, which I love, especially in the fall and winter. I wear a lot of red. Well, every day, but I surely wear a lot of red, like in the fall months and stuff like that. So that's that. And then, um, right here, I have all of my blushes, all of my MAC blushes. And then I also have some of my, um, let's see, we're back here. La Femme, which is a really great blush and makeup brand. It's kind of older, but I really, really like their blushes um, there. So I have all of them here. I also have an e.l.f. blush palette, which is there. And then this is just a random Milani eyeshadow that I want to use, that I've always said I wanted to use, and I still haven't gotten around to it. But again, if you wanted to just pull this out, you could just pull this whole tray out and look for whatever blush it is that you're searching for. And I know that they're right there. So then this next section here, you guys, is are my concealers. 
and I like the way that I set this up because I've never had it set up like this before. But I think it's really good because then I can just pull this out if I wanted to grab a concealer. I'm doing my makeup and it's like, hello, concealer area. And I've got some highlighters, under eye highlighters. I've got a couple of old powders here, MAC powders. And I've got like all my highlighters for under the bra bone. I've got my LA Girls Pro Concealers, which are my holy grail that I live by. And then I've got these two Morphe uh, concealers that I'm really obsessed with lately. Like when these run out, I'm like, I need to get a couple of those, especially during this quarantine stuff so that I can have them handy. But these are my two favorites. I like to go in with the Pro Concealer first. Then I come on top because the doe foot on these two concealers by Morphe, it just smooths everything out and it sits the concealer underneath perfectly. So I'll come in with this darker shade, which is kind of a match for Fawn. These two are pretty similar for the Pro, con the Pro Concealer Fawn. And then this is the Morphe and the print is so small, you guys. This is the C435. And then I'll come on top to brighten with this one from Morphe. And this is the C335. And it's just a lighter shade, but it gives you that really glam look. Then next, just straightening back up as I go, this one here is um, foundation. So I don't have much foundation right now. My holy grail is the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I've been really like obsessing with that one. So I've got a brand new one here. I've got the one that I'm using currently. I've got some more foundations back here, but um, then I've got a little sample from Mac here of the Pro Longwear Conce the Pro Longwear Foundation, I believe. But anyways, and then I have um, my go-to Morphe Matte Lippy that I love. And this is in the color Hot Shot. Sorry, this is in the color Hot Shot. And I love it. I need to get another one of these. I think they were like seven bucks. And then I've got this Morphe eyebrow pencil that I've been obsessed with lately too. And this is the Micro Brow, micro brow Pencil. And this is in the color Java. And I really, really like it. It's so thin. It's like the MAC pencil. And one side has the um, eyebrow brush. So you can brush out your brows. And the other side is the actual um, pencil itself. That is that container. And I really, really love it. So this little section here, um, back here, I've got like beauty blenders. I've got little sponges for under eye concealer, um, a makeup brush here. And then I have MAC Fix Plus. I've got some Skin Refine Zone Prep and Prime from MAC. I've got one here, a new one. Then I've got this one, which I use as a primer. And then I have a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Baby Skin, which I never finished or really got into that much, but I'll try to use it up. Luminous Air Photo Set Primer. I've got this new one. I saw Hanny Bakes and she was swearing by this. Like she said, this was her holy grail. So I said, let me pick this up when I was in Alta and it was super cheap. I wanted to say it was like three bucks. So it is like, it's called a Poreless Putty Primer. And it's like a funny color, but it's supposed to be um, great for all, you know, skin tones. So, um, yeah, so I have that one and I'm, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited to try it. And then I have this little ColourPop um, eyeshadow. This is the Lightning Bug, which I really like. It's Super Shock Shadow. And I, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can, will be able to see it on my eyes, but... Anyways, I like it just to add a little glam and to boost my eyeshadow looks. And then I have this Morphe, which is kind of like a paint pot um, or brow cream. And this is in the color Java. And I haven't tried it yet, but it is for the eyebrows. So I really need to pull that out and use it more. But I've tried it in the store. I really liked it. And I'm going to get into that more. So that's kind of like my priming area. And then I've got the bra stuff there and then the shadow just kind of worked there. So that is that. So this is the overview of where we are. And then right here in the front, which I was kind of iffy, I wanted it to be things that I really use regularly. So I have some bronzer here. I have some highlighter here. These are both from the Beauty Supply. And then I've got two mascaras. I'm not big in a mascara. I just use it to do my, the, my bottom lashes and then for underneath my eyebrow, I mean my eyelashes, because you guys know I'm an eyelash girl. I've got some paint pots back here, or pigment pots rather, 
um, pigments, loose pigments, eyebrow sealer, eyeshadow sealers, and that sort of thing back here. Like I know that they're there, but I don't use that every day, so I don't need it like right up front. Um, right here, I've got this little tray set up, and it's for some eyeshadow brushes, like the ones that I'm using daily that are not, you know, they've got makeup on them and stuff like that, so I don't want them up top on my display. They're down here. I use it. I put it back in there. I've got a Fit Me face powder, setting powder. This is the 355 powder uh, coconut by uh, Maybelline, and I've got that. I've had it a while, but it's a really good uh, powder. And then I have like all my lip pencils and stuff back here, which is cool because if I wanted to pull them out, I could pull this whole tray out and it's got all my lip pencils and stuff in there. I've got a little flirt eyeshadow that I never have used that my mom gave me, but I do want to utilize it. Let's see if I can get it open for you guys without breaking my nail. <laughs> so it looks like this. I think the blue is really, really pretty and the pink could be great too, but... Um, just to work in a look or whatever, but they're really high pigment. So that's why I want to get into that and use it. So it is there and the packaging is cute too. So that's there. And then right in this area, you guys, I really love this section because before, if you remember, I had all of my uh, eyeshadow palettes. Now, since I've downsized, I have wanted to put all of my eyeshadow palettes inside of my vanity. If you guys remember previously, they were out on top of my second vanity that I had. But now that I've downsized, I wanted them to fit comfortably inside of my vanity so that they were really uh, out of sight and very neat and that my area just looked really, really clean uh, without having a lot of stuff on top of the vanity. So I have my Chanel mirror here, which I don't really use that much, honestly. Um, ever since I've gotten it, it's just kind of been more of a decor piece. So I just sat that on top of my palettes, but I have all of my palettes here and here which I really, really like because they are accessible. I can easily grab them out and I can utilize them here, um, you know, without much trouble. And this is the Morphe. Which palette is this? I love the Morphe palette, you guys. They give you such a versatile uh, selection. This is the 35H. And I got this from Ulta. I got all of them from Ulta, but I want to try the Morphe store so bad. And I just really love it. And I try to keep the names with it. I tried to wipe these down, but it was a little difficult without getting, you know, liquid or spray or water or anything on the actual shadows, which is going to change the composition of them or kind of make them um, stiff. So I didn't really mess with it too much. So there's still fallout, but I think that these little inserts kind of help it from like getting all over and making a mess. But these are really great palettes. So I just have them stacked in here. I've got them all in here, and this vanity from Ikea, the mom vanity table, is really, really deep. You know, like the drawer doesn't come out as far, which is the only thing that's kind of like a pest because I want to reach for it and pull, and it's like it doesn't go out as far as you would think it does, but there's a lot of space in the back, as you guys can see um, back here. So I've got some older palettes here. I've got my two palettes from Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette you guys know I've raved about and I love this so much especially last summer I use this a lot this was the this is the what I use for my highlight and contour and as you can see in the back here I've put such a dent in that dark brown color I think it's called Java let's see I can't even tell anymore um Mino but anyways, I've used the heck out of that um, for contouring. And then this was just a really cool eyelid eyeshadow and to cut crease with. And then these other ones I really love for like highlighting and stuff. And under the bra bone, this one is good too. And then I have the Nubian 2 palette from, from Juvia's Place, which I use a whole lot this summer as well. And I still love it. Um, this one has a lot of gorgeous colors too. And these are really good for on the go if you're going to travel or you wanted to pack an eyeshadow for a weekend getaway or whatever the case may be. And I did wipe these down a lot. I didn't want to go too hard on them because like I said, I didn't want to damage the actual eyeshadows. So um, under here, I've got some older palettes. The Eclipse palette. I believe these are from BH Cosmetics. These are some really old school palettes back there. But the first one that I ever had, their 365 palette, which has 365 colors in there, it's really um, 
I guess like a keepsake for me because it was the first palette, like a multi palette that I had ever gotten and that I had ever really seen before. So it's just part of my collection and I'll probably just keep that. I haven't been able to throw it out even though I don't use it anymore. It's just like, I guess like a collector's item there. And then I've got some of my favorite brushes here that I'm using the Pretty Girls brushes. Um, there and then i've got some loose like setting powders here um that i have and this is it you guys this is the setup i did show you guys my brushes back here um and they're just all my brushes lids the face brushes everything and then i have my um lighting system which i'm still working on getting these back hung up or how i'm going to situate them i'm kind of thinking that i want to mount them on the wall just so that they're um, a little more situated there. And I've got my ring light behind me for this video. So it usually just sits off to the side of my vanity. And, um, you know, if I'm filming or shooting something, then I'll pull it out. Um, I helped my mom with her hair the other night and I was able to use my ring light, which was really cool. It gives a lot, a lot, a lot of light, which is cool. And I love it. But um, this is my setup, you guys. I'm really pleased with it. I like how it came out. And I think that it's so functional, super glam, and really, really nice when I open it up to grab things. It's really, really nice. Um, I have one lipstick that is in my purse. So that's why it's kind of these MAC lippies are not sitting the way that I have them. So that's better. That's kind of that arrangement there with the two bullets. And then, yeah, so this is it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some great ideas for your own vanity. Be sure to comment below if you like this type of video, if you wanted me to do like an updated makeup look with these concealers that I had mentioned um, or talk about any specific products, I would be happy to do that for you guys. I am so glad to uh, share my space with you. And let me know what you think. Comment below and let me know what you think, dolls. I hope that everybody is staying safe, healthy, and happy during this quarantine time. I'll back up and let you guys see how we are looking. Let me close the drawer up here. And yeah, so here we go. We're painting out. This is it, you guys. Minus the light. <laughs> Minus the ring light, but this is it. So I hope that you guys, what do you guys think? This is that, let me scoot the light over. If I scoot the light over, it might get a little bit down, but you can still get the gist of it there. So, all right, be blessed. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.